The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, folks, uh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Time out here. My, my beeper is going nuts here for a second. I hope it's the right one. Yeah, it is. Just a second. Hold on. Let me get this uh, out of the way here. Oh, uh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Give me a second here. All right, let's move on here. Let's take a look here at the... Uh, First, we're going to watch here is the Treasury bond. We talked about this yesterday. You'll notice the ABCD pattern that is right here on the bottom. There's your 3A2 coming off of the high right here. It went above it by about eight pips, and now we're two handles uh, below it right now. So we're going to watch. This is going to be really important to watch this because these moves are equal, folks. We talked about this yesterday. You see, you came all the way down. You rallied uh, five points, 117. Up to 122, this was 109 to 114. Both of them were five-point rallies. Now, look how quickly this came down, and it led to this. Now, is that going to be the same thing? I don't know. You know the good part about this, boys and girls? Nobody else does either, so that's the key. Yesterday, we talked about the soybean market, about how important it was and where we were coming. Let me get this up here to show you where we were here today. Because this is the soybean market. Let's get this up so we can everybody can see it live right now. We made a lower low than yesterday, folks, by a grand total of one half of one penny, twelve dollars and fifty cents, at the exact sixty-one percent retracement at twelve forty nine even. And the low today was twelve fifty and one half. We are now um, uh, 20, oh my goodness, we're that much above it, 12.50. Wow, we went from 12.50 to 12.97. We're 47 cents higher. This is a big move on the upside. So we got some action going on. We also talked about this with the, <laughs> I love this. Sorry, folks, my uh, beeper is going off. I'll show you what happened here. We're, we're watching the gold market because remember, we were looking for gold to make that high up in there yesterday. And it's certainly done that. So uh, hopefully you took advantage of that. The high we were looking for was at 1290. The high was at 1298. And so far it's acting, uh, hopefully, as good as we would have expected. But this is the one we're watching here right now. Now, if you remember yesterday, we were also talking about the wheat market, folks. I wanted to get this up here so we can take a quick look at that and uh, do these things live because it's always fun to see them live action. Remember that number was a 550 or something like that? Oh boy, there it is. Uh, we were looking for it to get down to the 78% level. Let's get the hourly chart up here. Did exactly what we had hoped. There it is, there's your 78% level right here that we were watching here. So we've gone uh, about 28 cents higher uh, in the wheat also. Sometimes that helps. I was not able to send out any videos or emails yet. God willing, and usually she is, we hopefully have this fixed here by uh, tomorrow or the next day, or tomorrow, by tomorrow or Friday. Problem is, folks, Snagit, the way I send these out, that's the program that I use, uh, and it has changed something. And what happens is when it changes something, it puts me in a bad situation as far as figuring out what the heck to do. So that's the main reason why I'm having all these problems to the fact that I have about 30% uh, of my normal energy level, but I'm getting a lot better. I can tell by the uh, strength in my voice and the fact that I'm uh, able to stay awake a little bit longer than uh, necessary, but I should be totally well here in a few days. The doctor said I was making a good turn, so that's a good thing. But anyway, that's what we were watching of those uh, two markets. I hope you were able to at least pay attention to them, if nothing else. There's going to be a lot of others 
that's for sure, because these markets are having great volatility, and the news is such that, that one day it's up, one day it's down. It doesn't make any difference. And someone asked me the question by email, how do I turn myself off from what's going on with the fundamentals? It's really simple, folks. And I tell you one thing, you see this finger right here, this one thing, this is the one thing I know. And I know A, B, C, D. That's all I need to know. That's all I want to know. And that's all I that's all I care to teach. I mean, there's a lot of other things you could probably look at. You could look at fundamentals and oscillators and stuff like that. But when push comes to shove, I've not found anything any better than A, B, C, D and a little bit of Fibonacci. And that's that's what I do. I mean, keep it as simple as possible. People say, well, you know, we've taken this from other people. And you know what, folks? They are absolutely 100% correct. I've taken everything that I know from somebody else. Everything. Not, not one thing. Have I ever done anything other than look at something that somebody else has done? Maybe I looked at it a little bit different way. But it's something that I saw from somebody else. And I'm honest about that. I'll tell you somebody else. Well, no. Larry Williams is the same way. He knows how to do these things. But so much of this stuff has been out there for so long. It's it just so much of it out there. So I, I narrow it down to just one or two things that I like. And that's what I try to do. And nothing more, nothing less. That's the main thing that I'm really trying to uh, you know, get my... Uh, head around, <laughs> so to speak. So anyway, that's what we're watching right now. Uh, the market's had a really nice run here in this week. We're going to see if it's going to continue or not. At least it started, uh, you know, in the, the uh, right direction. So let's watch that. Now, remember yesterday, let's get this up here because there's a couple others here that I wanted to show you. If you remember yesterday in the euro, <clears throat> we were telling you here in the euro that this was going to have a little bit of problems up in here. You see, we were setting... There's your 61% retracement of the high right here. These were the, oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. There was your 61% retracement right here, okay? Well, it doesn't draw it as well as I want to, but there it is right there. There's your 61% retracement, and here's where we are. All you have to do now is go back to what I always look at, and that's A, B equals C, D. And you can see this is over a two-day period. There's your 11th to 12th. And there's your ABCD pattern coming in right here. There's AB, and there's your CD right there, spot on, okay? And that we've had a pretty nice move. We dropped over 100, uh, 110 pips right now, which is a pretty good move to the downside. So those are another one. Now, the thing we want to do now is because these numbers are getting so important, and they really are, is we really need to watch this one because this is the money, folks. This is real money. This is not the uh, us, you know, the futures guys, you know, banging each other's heads trying to pick a top or a bottom. This is real money that's moving around, and this is the uh, 50, a little more, about 56 percent of the U.S. dollar. So what we've done so far, just this one day, this is the biggest correction we've had since this market bottomed back in here at 104. We went up 200, 200, two, da -da 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 two handles up to this level right here. And this is where we are uh, coming down to this level right now. Okay, so let's uh, let's see where we're going to be here. So we're going to take our uh, pattern here from this low to this high, and we're right at the 50%. And you know what else we're right at? We are right at a break. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com. 
TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're talking about the euro here. What, what, what should happen next? Now, you'll notice since we made the 61% retracement, it took eight days to make that correction, okay? And now in one day, we've given up more than 50%. You can see that coming in right here. That tells us that we've made more than 50%. So we're coming down. We're most probably going to get down to this level right here, all right? That's the 1.618. We also know that if you go from your high from your low down to your high that comes in right here so this is where the big daddy sings right here you see these two numbers I'm going to draw them in right there so that's going to tell you where you want to be see there's your 618 and 786 we're talking about 10521 that's down about 30 pips from where we are right now so watch that 105 level 10510 that level because it should it should have good support there and if it doesn't uh oh then there's trouble in River City. Then you know that you're going to go down heavily. But right now, there's no reason to come down here. Look at this one, folks. Had a little bit of a 382 right here, and then boom, look what happened there. Now, this is coming down hard, okay, which is not unusual because we had six days, eight days up, so we're having a correction. But this is where you want to be watching here at 105.21. Watch that because if that can hold, and if that can hold, then you've really got something. But if it doesn't, then you're looking at something more sinister because then you have to look at the, the longer time frame and you'll see all we did here, you see, all we did was go up to this level right here, okay, which was the 382 off of this one right back here, correct? So what we're watching now is we could be looking at another A, B, C, D. Remember, we still got this one outstanding at 104, we're trading 105 and change. So that's why this is so very, very critical today what we're watching. I, I hope that helps to show you what I'm doing. Uh, someone asked me a question is, you know, I look at this stuff, it looks pretty easy. Folks, it is pretty easy. You just got to learn how to do it. You know, remember when Mark Douglas talks, you know, you have to have a belief in the system that you're working with. I mean, a belief that is just unchallenged. And folks, if you don't believe some of these things that we shut up, that we share up here, I mean, we're telling you things that uh, you know have nothing to do with fundamentals, and we're looking at ABCDs. 
you know, and stuff like that. That that's all we're looking at. I mean, there's nothing there's nothing fancy about what I do here. I'm I'm not right all the time. I don't expect to be right all the time. The one thing I do is I have respect for these markets, of course. But my goodness, you know, the, the, they don't do anything different ever. And that's why you have to have this really strong belief that you can do it. How do you get that belief? Well, if you've ever played golf, which I don't play, um, anyway, the, the main reason is golf, you've got to hit 200,000 golf balls before you could play a round of golf with Tiger Woods. In other words, shoot anywhere near par. That's 200,000 golf balls. Folks, I can tell you without any hesitation at all, I've looked at a whole lot more than 200,000 charts in 60 years. I can promise you that because I work 10 hours a day, seven days a week because there is no weekend for me. I like doing what I'm doing on Saturday. That's the day I get to spend two and a half hours to three hours with John uh, Jameson getting ready for the next newsletter and trade set up for the next week and stuff like that. On Sunday, what do I do? I get ready for the Sunday night trading. And so, you know, it's it's just a fun thing for me to do. And I've been blessed with it because I enjoy it. And frankly, I don't know what else I would do. So as my kid says, what would you do if you retired? And they laugh, says, Dad, you never retire. She says, you're going to be just like Mom said. You're going to die right in front of your computer with a big smile on your face. And when I was going through my, my divorce in 1986, uh, my attorney and my uh, accountant was there. And she made the comment that you're going to die in front of that machine uh, with a big smile on your face. And my attorney looked at my account and he said, God, he said, I wish the heck that I'd be able to say that. And they both laughed. And here I am doing the same thing day after day and uh, hopefully getting through to a few people. I know that I am because I hear I get emails back and some feedback that you are watching these things. And they do work. Okay, let's get back to the markets. Let me show you if you like Fibonacci, and most of you do. Let's get up here to take a quick look here at this one right here. Look at the 61% retracement today in the crude oil. Now, yesterday, remember, yesterday we had our friend, um, um, <laughs> Mike Moore, on. he talked about this. He saw how important this was. And look what it did. It hit there twice last night. Then it went up right to the 61% retracement. Now, this showing is 0.65. The difference between 0.65 and 0.618 is 10, 10 points, 100 bucks. It dropped from 85 to 83, $2,000 straight down. It took the low out. But then it came right back above it. So that's telling you there was a lot of support down in here because if it had been resistance or not support, this thing would have kept going down, but it didn't. It held that level. So watch. I'd be watching possibly for a potential reversal here. Now, it hasn't reversed very much. It's only up about oh, uh, 30 or 40 pips from the bottom, but the fact that it couldn't get below here and just totally cascade down tells me that there may be it's still a chance for that. Slight chance, but it may be a chance. But this was a beautiful short sell up in here. If you looked at this closely, look, you had it the first time. The market broke down. Gave you the second chance right there. That was that was the easy one right there because you broke, you broke 600 bucks and you go right back up and kiss it again and then look at one of these. You got to be figuring that out. It's getting ready uh, to the go to the downside. And remember, this is doing it with the stuff that's going on in the war. If you were watching the news and not knowing what crude oil was doing, I bet you would guess that crude oil would be about 93, 94 dollars a barrel, right? Not not going to happen. So that's why uh, the news follows the trend. And believe me, this stuff that's on TV, this is going to be on for a long time, folks. I know it's going to be a war that's going to last 7, 8, 10, 12 days. I don't know. But it's still going to be on because it's just not – they've been fighting for thousands of years, and they are not going to stop. I mean, it, it may be off and on, but get used to it. It's not going to change. There's a to total different – a thought process as I go on there, and uh, my friend Johnny over here, one of my favorite students, waving at me, saying, "Get off that topic!" And so, you got it, Johnny. I'll move on here to the next one. Uh, let's take a look at the cattle because I had a question about the cattle here, and I wanted to uh, maybe make sure I get this thing set up here. I've got to be careful here. One second here. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me get the cattle up, and we'll take a quick look at the cattle. And uh, there we go. Here's December cattle. Should be in a sell mode. Let's see. Yep, we're getting up there. So hold on. Here's where we are. We had that big sell, as you can see, right up in here. 
the number 192. As you can see, we stayed there for one, two, three, four days at the 1.618 level. See that 191? There's a 61% retracement of this whole range right here, 1.618. See, I measured it right here. Uh, the high on this was uh, 191.95. It didn't hit 192. Then we broke pretty good. You see, we had a nice ABCD down. In fact, this would have been a pretty good buy yesterday if you had been. Uh, we had time to show you, but we'll just get this up here. There's where we are, and then we'll just see what the ABCD pattern was here. There's your X. There's your A. BCD came down here right there the stop there for several days one two three four five days matches the low right here yesterday and look where we had it for a really good rally and where are we going to rally to boys and girls stay tuned i'll show you in just a second 877-927-6648 stay tuned for jeff huge The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, we'll have Jeff Hughes on the line, but we have a caller from Palm Harbor. Jim is on the line. What can I do for you, Jim? Real quick, Larry, uh, I'm glad you're back and glad you got the charts working. Um, how do you handle missing the trade, and specifically on this E-mini? Uh, <laughs> I missed the down move. 
the Dell move at at, when the, at nine o'clock in the morning, and I wrote the I, I drew this fib chart from the high to that low at yesterday afternoon. So and we go all the way back on now at one o'clock. I got my my cup of coffee all set for Larry Pesavento, and I I was looking at the TVT calls, which I hit a home run on, and. I missed this down move now, 30 points down right to yesterday's low. And it was an A, B, C, D right there, all the way you've taught everybody. And I've missed this at 1 o'clock, the sell. Uh, How do you handle that? And now what would you do now on, looks like we're right at yesterday's low and we've got an A, B, C, D that completed. <laughs> Missing trades is a real son of a gun, let me tell you. Uh, that's the number one thing that, you know, we, Mark Douglas was here with all these traders for the years, and that was the one thing that, that these guys, and I go through it all the time. I miss the silver move. I miss the gold move. I, I miss the soybean move, and I, I mean, I'm not making any excuses because I'm really not feeling, you know, about 30% of what I am normal. But, you know, I caught a little bit of the gold move, of course, and I caught a little bit of the silver move. But, uh, yeah, and the bond move, I mean, those were relatively... And, and the soybeans and the wheat this morning. <laughs> yeah, well, look at the wheat. I did get that one. But anyway, the main thing is what you got to do is you just got to shake it off and uh, go on to the next trade. You know, it just that's all you can do. The easy trade today was when the S&P rallied up to 44.15. That was the perfect sixty-one percent right. retracement. And, and, so. and actually, that was an exponential moving average on a, on a thirty-minute chart. Well, it right, you have to, just tagged you have to, it at yeah. uh, twelve thirty, and, and we've been down ever since. So, uh, um, I can't wait to hear Jeff and keep okay. up good work and keep keep your progress. It's good to hear. Your Thank voice. you very much. Are oh, you bet? Thank you for calling in, Jim. We appreciate your call, Jeff. Are you there, buddy? I am here, Larry. Okay, I think uh, we've got your chart up for the the seven percent correction. So. Uh, let me know what uh, what you're thinking here, my friend. Yeah, I'll tell you. And let me just first uh, shout out to Jim. Uh, you know, don't beat yourself up. You can't win them all. There's, you live to fight another day, and there's always another trade. So uh, you just pay attention to what the market's telling you, and you jump on the next one. Hey, Larry, That's with correct. this chart, um, I just wanted to bring it to people's attention. This is uh, a study put out by Milton Berg. Milton's a rather well-regarded statistician, market statistician. He worked for Drucken Miller and Soros for a number of years. He's on his own now. Uh, he tweets stuff like this out all the time. And I found this to be particularly interesting, you know, especially since the S&P is just uh, corrected about 9.1% off the July 27th high into the October 3rd low. It's actually the third correction of greater than 7%. 7 percent is a statistically significant number. Uh, Berg's determined and He's looked back to data in the S&P 500 since 1957 when the S&P 500 was actually created uh, as its current index. And uh, he says there's been 17 bull market runs defined by a gain of greater than 25 percent. Um, he says, you know, since that time, uh, you know, we basically had uh, 10 occasions where we've had 7 percent corrections and uh, five occasions uh, where we've had two 7% corrections following this 25% uh, or better advance. This year uh, and this last couple of months marks the third 7% correction. It's the first time in the history of the S&P 500 that we've had three corrections of greater than 7% after a 25% bull market advance. I think it's statistically significant, and what it really says to me is that it, it increases the odds that what we're dealing with here is not a new bull market, but a counter trend advance off an initial low that's probably one of five uh, waves that will ultimately complete uh, a, uh, a five wave impulse pattern. Wow. That's, I, I have to agree with the way the market's acting. Now, people always ask me, you know, how can the market rally? You know, when we have all these wars and stuff and, you know, crude oil is supposed to be up $15 a barrel and stuff like that. And my, my comment to them is you have to realize that there's BlackRock has $27 trillion. You look at all, uh, what you say, State Street and Vanguard. I mean, you're talking about 60 percent of the S&P. So they can make that thing do whatever they, whatever they want it to. Yeah, it's like not an option, that? right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> until they can't stop it from going down. It, they're going to yeah. do everything they can to hold it up. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I say. Just watch what the charts are doing and follow the charts and not the news. That's what's my favorite uh, saying is. But that's been used by so many people through the years. Let's move on to the next one, Jeff, because I know you've got some really good ones in here, and I want to be able to uh, 
show them the problem is I'm having trouble getting these things lined up the way that I want to. So bear with me here just for one second. Well, I'll just talk yeah. to it while you're trying yeah, to go, uh, yeah, get go right ahead. And, and what we're I'll get the chart yeah, up. We're, we're talking about yeah. stock bond net positioning here, and we hear a lot of okay. talk about how, you know, everybody's <laughs> bullish or everybody's bearish. Well, you know, the real tone is, is focused on large speculators, right? So we want to focus on, you know, what's the net large speculator positioning. These are the hedge funds, the leveraged speculating community. And if we look at the E-mini futures contract right now, based on the COT data released last week, uh, we can see that uh, uh, speculators have really reduced uh, their uh, their short position, okay? Uh, they have really come back uh, quite a bit. The net short position is now only uh, negative 73,000 contracts. Uh, that was negative 400,000 back in July. So uh, they've come down quite a bit. The flip side of the speculators are commercials. These are large commercial hedgers. These are the smart money investors. And uh, they are getting uh, really, really bearish right now. And so I think that the issue here is that uh, the smart money guys have really reduced their long position. And uh, they are starting to look at the market as being ready to uh, to to cave in, uh, the flip side is looking at the Treasury bond futures, and it's the exact opposite. Speculators speculators are net short, uh, you know, the most that they've they've been in uh, years actually uh, down two hundred and thirty two thousand contracts. They're short uh, versus the uh, commercials having a net long position of the exact opposite amount. So um, what we're concluding by this is that you know the commercials. Are, are really bearish stocks, uh, and they're actually very bullish bonds. They're 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 moving capital in the bonds. Wow. Yeah. You know, this next chart is a little concerning too because I I, I don't follow fundamentals, but I watch statistics, and it's showing that uh, consumers are you know basically cutting back. It looks like. Well, they're cutting back dramatically, Larry. And my big point is this: um, you know, I'm of the opinion that we're on the precipice of going into a major recession, and it could be a deep and prolonged recession. And this is one of the key factors that is leading my decision in that direction. And what we're seeing here is we're not seeing uh, consumer debt because credit card debt, as we all know, is now 1.3 trillion dollars. It's an all-time record high. What we're seeing is transaction volume data. And transaction volume data has been on the decline for the last year. And what we saw in September is negative 10.8% year-over-year transaction volumes. That's the lowest that we've seen since April 2020 when they shut down the economy due to the pandemic crisis. Uh, this is wow. very, very disconcerting because it suggests, you know, especially given that 70% of the U.S. economy is hinged to consumer demand, that, uh, you know, the consumer has shut down. Rich okay. middle class and uh, the poor are. Okay. Stay with us, Jeff. We'll be right back. We got to pay a few bills. We'll be right back with Jeff. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights, about the S&P 500 performance. And uh, looks a little dismal right now, anyway. Tell us what you're looking at, Jeff. <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to just include these uh, charts, Larry, about performance off the top and off the bottom, just to kind of put things in perspective. If we think about the S&P's performance since January 4th, 2022, the all-time record high, the only sector in the S&P that's positive is energy, and it's up about 58%. Uh, real estate's down almost 28%, and virtually everything is negative except uh, uh, real estate, uh, and most everything is, is down more than the S&P 500. If we think about performance off the October 12th low, the next chart, you can see that really the only two sectors that are beating the S&P 500 are tech and com. And uh, they are beating it by, uh, you know, factor of two, right? You know, they've doubled the performance of the index. And because they're so heavily weighted, that's what's really driving uh, the index's performance. We look to the far right, you can see healthcare, staples, and utilities are barely even registering gains. And we think at this point, uh, for those that are looking to position long in equities for any reason, uh, we think those are the areas we'd want to focus on. They're, they're really underperforming dramatically, and we think that uh, they're just um, they're under-owned at this point. So we think a rotation, if the market continues to break, as we expect, uh, back into defenses should be a big uh, way to produce alpha in your account. Okay. Well, you know a lot about that stuff, so pay attention, folks. He does a great job. Let's take a look at your next one. And then we'll see the Elliott wave, and boy, it's been following along pretty good, hasn't it, Jeff? <clears throat> it has, and uh, you're probably familiar with uh, uh, Paul McRae Montgomery's cycle work. Yes, uh, he was a you know really a legendary strategist on Wall Street, uh, built yeah. his career on understanding cycles in the market, and uh, he would attribute specific dates. And we've identified four dates in the next two months that are specific to, to Montgomery's <laughs> cycle turns. Uh, they're coming up here on October 14th, which is actually tomorrow, uh, October 13th, Friday, or Monday, uh, which would be the, the 16th. So either of those days could qualify as the turn date. Looks to me like it's going to be tomorrow based on today's action. Uh, we think that could mark a high. And uh, based on our Elliott Wave count, we think it's um, minute wave four of minor wave three down, which means that we should see a pretty hard down move over the course of the next two weeks into the next turn date, which is October 28th. That should complete minor wave three down and carry the index down to around 4,100 on the S&P. That happens to come right into uh, 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 co coincide with the uh, 377 day uh, moving average. That's a Fibonacci number for those who don't recognize it. Uh, we think we'll get a counter trend bounce off of that low 
uh, which could carry back into kind of the 4,200 range, uh, which is kind of the October 3rd low, if you will. And uh, we think that will probably mark minor wave four of uh, intermediate wave one down. And that would probably top around November 13th, the next Montgomery cycle turn date. And from that point, we expect a really sharp move to the downside. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is that that November 13th to November 27th period contains the November 17th D-Day for passing a government uh, uh, budget deal. And if they don't get that, we could get a government shutdown, which could be the catalyst for a free fall in the stock market. We think that free fall will occur irregardless, and we think it will carry the S&P down to around 3,800, uh, which is about the March lows following the banking crisis. That will terminate minor wave five of uh, intermediate wave one of primary wave three down. Now, Larry, I don't want to scare your audience, but we think primary wave three down could carry the S&P 500 all the way down uh, into the high 2000s. We're we're currently looking at a uh, best case scenario of 2775 as a target for primary wave three down. Now, a lot of people have asked me if it, wouldn't that be wave C? Isn't this an ABC? Well, it could be, but we think it's going to be a five-wave impulse move to complete wave A, uh, which will probably bottom somewhere around S&P 2250 before it's all over, and then we'll get a big counter trend, which will be wave B. So we're really focused on being cautious and uh, you know defensive into uh, what we think will be uh, a significant decline. I don't want to call it a crash but I wouldn't rule one out. Yeah, well, I can see some of this happening with all the news that's out there from any any thing. Every time you turn on the TV, it's something different. So it's a little scary. I, I actually don't watch the news anymore, uh, Jeff, because I, I'd rather listen to rock and roll music or gospel music than to watch the news because it, it's just scary and a lot of the stuff is just skewed no matter what program you're watching. Yeah, I don't I'm talking you. about all of them. They're all the same. <laughs> So anyway, I, 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 let's talk about your newsletter a little bit, my friend, because you do a great job here, and it's virtually free. I mean, what's 112 bucks a year or something like that? I mean, it's really dirt cheap. So tell the folks about yeah, it. Thanks, it's really a good letter. I appreciate uh, you bringing it up. You know, we just published our latest uh, issue uh, entitled All Roads Lead to Rome, uh, and that went out last Saturday, uh, October 7th, so it's still pretty hot off the press. And what we do is we go through um, kind of an analogy of, of looking at the, the U.S. economy versus Rome at its peak. And, uh, you know, the conclusion is that, that the U.S. looks a lot like Rome did right before the fall right now. And so uh, it, it really is a historical perspective. We usually get a lot of feedback emails from people, but they, you know, maybe 20, 30 every time we publish. We got well over 100 this time, and they're all positive accolades. People really, really enjoyed it. So I would encourage your uh, your, your listeners to uh, you know check it out. It's hugeinsights.substack.com. Uh, you can sign up and just get it delivered to your email address. You can read all the archives by going to uh, that site again, hugeinsights.substack.com. And you can you know we, we've written 26 monthly issues now, so you can look at what we said over the past. You know, a uh, few months if you just want to catch up on our thinking with respect to the economy and the markets. Okay, listen, really great stuff, my friend, and keep it up. Uh, I just really enjoy looking at the letter each week and also uh, each month, but I also enjoy talking to you because you're really good at what you do. And I don't say that uh, off the top of my head very often because uh, <laughs> you are good. And uh, it's really great to have you uh, have you as our guest, okay? You're too kind, Larry. Thanks so much. No. I hope you feel better and uh, stay well. Oh, I, I am doing better, yes. Okay, uh, let's move on here for just a second, folks. Jeff talked about uh, we got this. We got something really big happening, folks, at this next uh, 40, uh, 72 hours or so. We've got a big solar eclipse coming in here on uh, Saturday, the 14th. Now, tomorrow we have Treskai Decaphobia. That's fear of the number 13. That started in uh, two th or the year 1207. Uh, I was trading barley back then in the UK uh, in 1207 in my other life. That was when the Knights Templar was running the whole show. And that Friday the 13th is when the uh, King of France or the Pope or somebody, one of those dudes, said, we've had enough, we're going to burn you dudes at the stake. And they basically annihilated, they annihilated the Knights Templar. 
not before they could get to Oak Island and pack the treasure away. So who knows what's going back. <laughs> anyway, let's take, we'll be taking it right, take it, pay a few bills here. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're going to get back to this S&P here. You'll notice uh, I posted here the uh, Gartley pattern that he had when we have Jim from Palm Harbor on. You can see the nice little ABCDs here. There's your first one. There's your second one. Right up here at the 618, it stays here for 30 minutes, and then it starts to break. And look how – you see how it's coming down like this, folks? When, you're, when you have these really wide-ranging bars after hitting something like this, you know you're going – now, we're down at the 1.618 expansion, folks, of this range right here. Now, if you go back and look at this, we've taken out the low of yesterday. Okay, that's a big deal, right? But the whole thing re revolves around – let's get this up here on this four-hour chart because here's the key. If we start going below – see, we went above the 382. Where did we go to? Within one uh, – five points of the exact uh, – 50% of that move uh, right back here, all right? The 382 went above it a little bit. Well, now we're coming down. So what you want to be watching, remember that key number is 4350. 
because there's where we closed on Friday, folks, okay? This is uh, the move on Sunday night. Everybody was bearish, bada bing, bada boom. Let's just measure that. I know we went a little bit higher than that ABCD, but not by much. There's your AB leg right there. Yeah, it went up to, uh, we measured it at 44.20. The high was uh, 44.30, uh, and now we're 41.70. So watch the retracement. And you notice here that we're almost through the 382. That comes in. This is the key level, 43.58. We get below that. And if we get below that, there it is right there, 43.58. Folks, we're coming down at least another 50 to 100 handles and possibly a giant A, B, C, D to the downside. And just like I mentioned, to uh, we're right at that 1.618 right now, so it's very important that it should hold that level. Uh, well, it should. That was on our uh, eight minute. That was an eight minute. Sorry, that's what, yeah. There's your should hold here. Have a little bit of a rally and then down more. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless Joe DiNapoli tomorrow, folks. Don't miss it. It's like Johnny Carson himself. We'll be right back.